Welcome to Agora, the beautiful battlefield of Paragon, a new third-person multiplayer online battle arena game brought to you by Epic Games. MOBA games require a combination of teamwork, strategy, and personal skill in order to achieve victory. Within this domain, mighty heroes will clash in a grand competition for control of the battleground. My name is Batcuban. And my name is Bodo Collin. And in this video, we will teach you everything you need to know to hit the ground running. With our help, you'll be playing like a pro in no time, so let's get started. In Paragon, the map is divided into three separate lanes. Left lane, middle lane, and right lane. Each of these lead to the opponent's core directly from your own. Within each lane, there are two towers, followed by one inhibitor tower. Each must be destroyed consecutively, with the enemy's core becoming vulnerable upon the destruction of at least one inhibitor. Unlike lane towers, inhibitors will respawn, if you are able to defend for long enough. Between the three lanes lies the jungle, the home to many neutral monsters. Inside the jungle, you can find harvesters, various hero buffs, and shadow pools. Standing in shadow pools will stealth your hero from your enemy's view. Although the jungle is divided between the two teams, it is a neutral ground occupied by neither. It provides many winding paths perfect for flanking your opponents. The same can be said for your enemies as well, so keep an eye open for those ganks! Players begin by selecting a hero from the character selection screen. Each hero is equipped with unique abilities, filling various roles in their team's composition. After selecting a hero, players will search for a match. When 10 players are matched together, the game will begin. Each team consists of 5 heroes controlled by other players like yourself. You must work with them to destroy the enemy core. Your hero begins with a basic attack, as well as one skill point. Skill points are gained upon leveling up your character. They are used to unlock and upgrade your basic attack three basic abilities, and your ultimate. Ultimate abilities have much longer cooldowns, but are capable of turning the tides of a battle in your favor. Heroes navigate the map using travel mode. After a brief channel, your hero gains a massive increase in speed. However, abilities cannot be used well in travel mode and receiving damage from enemy heroes or towers results in a 3 second snare. Your goal is to destroy all of the turrets within a lane, exposing the enemy core. Once exposed, attack with your team to destroy it, earning yourself a victory. Towers deal massive damage, first focusing your minions and then your heroes. Dealing damage to an enemy hero will pull the tower's focus to you. Towers deal bonus damage to heroes if there are no minions within their range. Towers that have not yet been exposed can't be attacked and deal immense bonus damage. Minions begin spawning from each core at 30 seconds into the game, and will continue to spawn every 30 seconds. They walk down the lanes until they reach an enemy unit. Like towers, minions will prioritize other minions unless you attack an enemy hero. Minions provide a primary source of hero experience and amber. Amber is the currency in Paragon. All nearby teammates will also gain any and all amber that you earn. When a minion dies, it will drop amber on the ground for you to collect. Dealing the killing blow to a minion yields 5 times more amber and collects it automatically. This makes last hitting almost essential. Gaining Amber will eventually level up your card power. Card power is used to purchase equipment and upgrade cards. These cards provide your hero with valuable stats and bonuses. Your team can also build Harvesters to help gain Amber. They gather Amber slowly over time. If you stand in front of a Harvester, you will collect any Amber it has stored. Collected Amber is given to all of your teammates as well, and gives you hero experience. 
Upon destruction of an enemy inhibitor, super minions will begin spawning in the lane. Super minions are extremely strong and are capable of killing entire waves of normal minions single-handedly. They provide continuous pushing power and map pressure in whichever lane they spawn. Neutral minions spawn in the jungle. They will only attack if they are struck first, and grant amber and experience to whoever kills them. Either team can kill the neutral camps. There are also three types of stronger camps that drop temporary buffs for your hero. The Prime Guardian is the most fearsome neutral minion. It spawns in the middle of the map and generally requires more than one hero to kill it. The Orb Prime is given to whoever deals the killing blow. It's dropped if you attempt to recall to base or are killed. Anyone on either team can pick up the orb if it is dropped. The Orb Carrier must deliver the orb to the opposite corner of the map in order to gain the Orb Prime buff for their team. Once delivered, you and your team will gain the buffs from your Prime Helix card gaining massively increased power for three minutes. You now have everything you need to enter the fray. Good luck, warrior. Proceed to victory. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed the video. Keep in mind that feedback is immensely appreciated, and don't forget to hit that like button if you liked something, or the dislike button if you didn't find anything very useful. If you come across another player who needs help, feel free to share this video. If you'd like to see more content from us, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth guides and tutorials in the near future. And remember, your power grows.